Well, it is the season of giving. I'm sure we're all aware of that. And so someone was so kind to gift me a couple of gifts. I have that big gift, a smaller gift, and then this one looks like it's wrapped in a Target bag with some clear tape, but we'll take it, right? And so I thought it would be really fun if we could open these gifts together. So which one should we open first? Should we open the big one first? I like the way you think. We're going to open the big one first. All right, so we got a huge bag here. What's inside of it? I guess we'll find out. Well, we got some pencils. Very nice. We can use those, right? And a notebook. Looks like the school supplies from last week made their way into this bag, but I'll take it. <laughs> and then we have this green one. I wonder what's in here. <laughs> We're going to open it. All right. What is in here? Some Saturday night themed playing cards. They look like they're open, but we'll take them. <laughs> and last, I mean, this one can come out on its own, it looks like, but a phone. Not only a phone, a phone that is preloaded with the Bible app in it. Seems like a pretty good gift, right? Now, if you're anything like me, you always open the big gift first. Because the biggest gifts are the most awesome gifts. But sometimes it's the ones that are wrapped in a Target bag and some clear tape that are really the most unexpected gifts. And this reminds me of our Bible story for today, which is about a gift that was wrapped in a way where you wouldn't picture it to be the most awesome gift in the whole world. And that was when God came up to Mary and, she, and he said to her that she was going to carry the Son of God. Now, we all love babies, right? But to her, this wasn't a gift that was wrapped magically. This was a gift that brought her a lot of wonder. And she stepped into this gift and it turned out to be the best gift, a savior for you and for me. And so this year, as you are preparing to open your own gifts, and after all, it is the thought that counts, I want you to remember that maybe those gifts that are not wrapped the, quite the best are sometimes the most unexpected and the best gifts. And as you're opening those gifts, I want you to remember that you already have the best gift, and that is Jesus, who was born as a baby to live and die so that you could be free forever. So let's pray. You can repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for sending us your son, Jesus. Help us to find the beauty in the unexpected. It's in your awesome name we pray. Amen.